So Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI, is claiming AGI is coming in 2025 within a single year. Now, what he argues is society has barely adopted to artificial intelligence, and they're about to really step things up a notch when artificial general intelligence comes as early as next year. So AGI is a form of AI that's capable, if not more capable, than all humans across all areas of intelligence. And the most important thing you need to understand about this is that when AGI does come, the businesses and people that know how to use artificial intelligence properly are going to vastly outperform the companies that don't know how to use it. And that's why it's important now at the end of 2024 to start seriously implementing AI into your business. Because right now, businesses that use AI have a slight edge over businesses that don't. They can cut costs, they can be more efficient, they can do things better, etc. But it's not a vast difference yet. However, when AGI comes, which means that artificial intelligence will be as smart slash smarter than humans across all major areas, which means AI will replace so many jobs in one fell swoop, at that point, the companies that know how to use AI will be significantly further ahead than the companies that don't. But here's the thing. If you are a business owner and you think you're going to learn how to implement AI all at once when AGI comes, that's not how it works. It's the companies that are investing now that not only are going to reap the advantages of AI now, but when AI becomes more powerful and we hit this milestone of AGI, whether it's next year, maybe it's two years, maybe Sam Altman is wrong. But whenever that happens, it's the companies that are already set up with AI systems in place and they just have to turn up the dial on them and then instantly they're going to be out competing their competition. So using AI right now is not only about the results that it yields businesses today, it's about preparing yourself as a business to truly adopt AI in its next most powerful iteration. So that's why for my business, a digital marketing agency, we've been running ads. We've spent millions of dollars in ad spend since 2016. And now at the end of 2024, we're seriously adding in AI to our service offering. We're adding in AI on the side of the ad creation so our clients leveraging AI can create many different ad creatives every single week to outperform their competitors. And we're going to be adding AI on the other end where after our ads generate a lead, can an AI nurture that lead, follow up with the lead, book an appointment for the client salesperson, whatever that is. And then in the middle, our paid ads are really just connecting those two ends that both use AI. And really... This is still just the tip of the iceberg. And as AI gets more powerful, we want the clients of our agency to be on that leading edge to fully outperform their competitors that aren't there yet. And what's even more interesting about this is this tsunami of technology evolution is coming. And yet, I would argue that 90% of businesses, especially small to medium-sized businesses, still are not implementing AI at all. So there is such a massive opportunity right now for businesses to implement AI and for agencies like myself to sell AI implementation as a service on top of our regular service to clients. And that, my friends, is what my strategy is moving forward right now. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep updating you on this channel about the latest advancement in AI, running experiments about AI, and discussing how that mixes with our agency to grow it strategically and quickly. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.